I didn't realize that besides anchoring the newscast, he actually is very creative outside of here. He can be found in a studio, right? With screen mm -hmm. printing mm -hmm. and rocking out to his all time <laughs> favorite band, Guns N' Roses. So to celebrate the <laughs> Celebrate the 30th anniversary of Guns N' Roses' debut, their album, Appetite for Destruction. Steve has teamed up with famed rock photographer Mark Weiss Guy Weiss. Nice. He looks like a Weiss guy, doesn't he? <laughs> right. Wait, this is yours, Steve? Yeah. Are you yeah. kidding me? I'm very proud of it. This took like a week to do. A week? Yeah. I've been like hardcore into screen printing for the past couple of years. So how did you two get together? What's going on? So it was actually four years ago. I was walking up Lexington Avenue and he was doing a show with a painter, David Banigas, who would take his photos and make these crazy paintings. And I saw it. I'm like, I got to check this out because this is totally in my wheelhouse. I walked in. David was painting away. And this guy's in the middle of the room. And I'm like, hey, I don't mean to interrupt. What's going on? He's like, I'm Mark. These are my photos. And we've been friends ever since. But had you done something like this before? So I've painted for like 10, 11 years. I learned to screen print the past couple years. So that's what this is, a screen print. Um, and I've been working around the clock the past month on this whole thing. So Mark, what do you, what do you think? Well, I didn't know he was talented. He never, I knew him for four years. And I just he had no idea he was talented. What? I did the same thing. Mark, I, you couldn't have said it any better. And I'm always looking for artists and different interpretations of my photographs. And yeah. then he, when he told me, I'm like, really? I said, yeah, let's do it. No, Come right. On. It was funny, because like, you know, I've known him longer than that, but there's like, I wanted to make sure my skills were at the right level before I went to him, and the timing all worked out great. I was so surprised. So, where's the great. gallery? And is so that's the best part. Okay. It's, it's Grit and Glory, which is a tattoo parlor on the Lower East Side, 186 Orchard Street. When we start the show tomorrow, there are actually going to be people getting tattooed in the back the first hour of our show. So, what could be better for a Are you getting a tat tomorrow? We'll see. Well, okay, so how much does something like this go for? That's a great question. We still haven't figured that out. This has been like complete whirlwind the past month. Is there month. a friends and family deal? We, we, we can talk. We can talk. <laughs> I you think your, your daughter would love one of these. I know. Do you have any other of the screen prints that so, you've done, or you have some in the works? So there's seven all together, okay. and they're based on photos he took of the band. with. GNR did a famous trip to New York City 30 years ago. They played CBGBs, they played the Ritz, they were in town, they went to his studio in Manhattan. So there's seven in total I was able to get together in the time since we started talking. So Mark, are you going to introduce him to his heroes, Guns N' Roses? Is, is there a possibility uh, this You never know. Happen? I put a request in so, you know, they'll see Look these screen prints. Look at face. He's uh, about to explode. He lit up. <laughs> Axel Duff slash, if you're watching Good Day New York, please come to the show and make my life. We'll give you a really good deal even though we know you're rolling in dough after this tour. <laughs> Have you thought of actually forming just not a collaboration, but a company together? Well, yeah. We definitely, he has the archive of all archives, every artist. So, like, we've been texting back and forth, and he already said to me, he goes, you know what our next show is, Motley Crue, and I'm like, in. Oh. So, so, Mark, I mean, do you have, like, creative say over what he does? Do you look at it and say, you need to do a little bit more of this and that? Yeah, absolutely. It's a collaboration. A lot of artists, they just want to do their thing and, you know, give them their space. But, no, he totally was into, you know, me saying, you know, maybe a little crop differently. We would go back and forth. I mean, it would, it would be an amazing experience working with Steve because he's like, he's on the air doing his thing. And in between his thing, he's, I'm like, wait a minute, this is like 10 15. And this, this you know? is video of me actually doing them at the studio. I, oh I strap gosh. a GoPro to the roof above my table and then I make these high speed videos. So this was um, me making the Axel Rose one. And when he sent me that, it's I'm like, are you documenting everything? This is like, Amazing. So, yeah. Steve, you yeah. have a studio and everything. Like, you're really so, into this. Yeah, it's um, well, it, it's it's a place called Lower East Side Print Shop, which is actually in Hell's Kitchen. But like, you know, it, it, there's a bunch of people there. We share the tables and all the materials. So basically, I go there, I make a big mess, and then I walk away from it. You know, screen printing is very industrial chemicals and everything, but. I get a lot of satisfaction. It's kind of like an outlet also for you to like get out all your frustration no, that you deal totally. with on your day job. It's very, it's very, very <laughs> therapeutic. Not that I have a lot of frustration, <laughs> but uh, everybody needs an outlet. So this is a great one. Yeah. So what does the wife think, Anna Gilligan? Is, is she okay with this? She, Do we have a few of these she, around the house? She, she knows she has to indulge this passion of mine, but she's excited for the show to be over because I've been at the studio 24 <laughs> hours a day for the past month. And yeah. Mark, I mean, your, your history is incredible as well as a photographer. When you think of some of mm -hmm. the rock bands that you have taken photographs of Zeppelin and uh, Molly Cruz and wow. talk, talk about that to us. Well, and the great thing, he, what he wanted to talk about, which is fascinating, is the relationships he's maintained 
with the bands. And he has a great GNR story about, you know, he first shot him Let's in 86. Well, 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 I first shot him like eight months before Appetite came out. They were the new new band that, that everyone heard about. So mm -hmm. I, I wanted to get in on the ground floor. It's all about access, you know. So I had the access there. I developed a relationship. But then they broke up. And then when Axel came out with the Chinese Democracy in 2005, uh, they played the garden, and I got a, I tried to get the whole show because photographers want the access, they want the whole show. So I put a request in. The manager's like, no, they're not. At, you know, I'm not even going to ask Axel. No, I said, well, you know, he'll remember our shoots back in the day. You know, can you just ask? He says, I, I'm sorry. So I go in the pit. I, wor I was working for. I got a photo pass through the aquarium, shot three songs. As I was leaving, Axel kind of stopped the last the song and the third song, and he looked at me. and He goes, Mr. Weiss. He did a shout out. At Madison Square Garden. <laughs> so, so the next day they were playing uh, New Jersey, and I called the manager up. The same guy I said, "You think you can ask Axel if I can shoot the whole show?" And they gave me all access, and I gave wow. him the pictures, and I did some work with him in Canada a few oh, years ago, awesome. and I shot yeah. a Giant Stadium, and you know, just you know, started up all again. All right, yeah. Steve. Steve is just chomping at the bit. Yeah. You got to introduce him. To GNR. I now know, I know the, the link. Right, exactly. All right, where can we see you? How can we support Steve? Okay, uh, Grit and Glory, tomorrow night, 7 to 10. It's free. It's uh, 186 Orchard Street, and we'll have six more like this from his photos of GNR 30 years ago. And tattoos. And, and White Sky Lacey on Facebook. And tattoos right. are optional. And it, yeah, I'll get my favorite <laughs> viewers <laughs> tattooed tomorrow. I'll be like Facebook too. fan of the day, so <laughs> I'll get it tattooed on my chest. All right, yeah, good okay. day's coming right back.